this instrument is the Exam 3000 by Drager, four gas meter. This instrument does not, does not possess an infrared sensor. It has a Wheatstone catalytic uh, hot wire sensor for uh, monitoring combustibles in the LEL, oxygen, CO, and carbon monoxide, uh, H2S, hydrogen sulfide. To turn this meter on, you hit the OK button, hold it down for a three, two, one, it starts up. Notice the battery on startup was full. That's the way you check the battery on this instrument if you want to check it before it turns on. is while you're pushing the OK button and it's going three, two, one, you see that the battery was full. You can let go of the on button and it won't start up. So that's how you check the battery if you're only interested in checking the battery. Then it goes through its warm up and it tells you where all the A1 alarms are and where all the A2 alarms are. A1 is your first threshold, A2 is your second threshold and latching alarm. And this says I have 90 days before calibration is due. And then it gives me the gases. You'll also see that the readout on this meter compared to the mini-worn Draeger and the multi-worn 2 Draeger is a little bit different. Instead of it being stacked top to bottom, it's uh, left to right both on top and bottom. So on the top left, you've got your EX percentage LEL. Now that's different from your Draeger mini-worn, multi-worn. This does not read CH4, it just reads EX, EX for explosives. You also heard a confidence beep just there a minute ago because we have an arrow pointing to it that can only be removed through CC vision with a computer. Oxygen percent volume, 20.9. H2S is PPM zero. CO PPM zero. Also, the short term exposure level uh, is also on, and that can be turned off as well. So, for a firefighter that wants to use this meter, here's what you do. The first thing you do, we have a little bit of drift on our CO, which uh, I don't particularly like. So, I'm going to do a fresh air calibration with this meter. That's going to be the first thing I'm going to start. But I've already noticed, too, that I have a full battery. And the battery is in one-third segments. So 33, 66, 99% or 33.3, .3, however you want to do it. But when you get down to one segment at the bottom, the instrument has to go on to, calibrate, uh, excuse me, on to charge. So fresh air cal, you have a down arrow here with an M, M for menu. The menu on this meter is a topical menu. It's on the exterior of the instrument. You don't go into an electronic menu like you do your mini worn and your multi worn. So I hit this button once. Fresh air cow is now blinking. I'm going to hit the OK button. And then all the sensors blink. I'm going to hit the OK button again. They continue to blink, but I see the word OK, which is telling me I'm going to have a successful fresh air cow. I hit it a third time and I wait for it to time out. I'm gonna hit it a fourth time, and now it times out. Sometimes on the exam 3000s, these touch pads, uh, sometimes you have to hit them twice to get them to proceed, and uh, they're a little touch, touch sensitive. 